Mm, okay, good evening. Uh, welcome, Miss Tatiana, and welcome, Mr. Gerardo. Good uh, evening, know if... teacher. Hello, good evening, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, and you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So, um, well, uh, it's, I guess, time to start the, the class. We have eight o'clock right now. And um, first of all, I want to introduce myself. Um, um, in my case, well, my name, I, I share my name in the WhatsApp group. My name is Wilmer uh, Antonio Granados. I'm an English teacher. Uh, currently, I'm working for a university um, here in, in Usulután and Gerardo Barrios. I'm working too with um, English Corporativo. Um, I have a master uh, degree right now. I'm, uh, I'm working on my thesis. And uh, what else? What in, in, um, my likes in, in this case are just uh, part of it. Part of my time is teaching, and also uh, I like to play uh, guitar. Th those are some of my likes that that I can say it, uh, or that I can use to, in this um, introduction. So. But um, after my presentation, I would like to know about you. So um, in this case, you are going to share some details about you. Um, you can share some details like uh, your likes <coughs> or some other interesting uh, facts you want to share with us. OK, um, okay. let's see. We're going to start with Miss Gerardo. I'm OK, thank Gerardo. you, teacher. Okay. okay, my name is Sihan Gerardo. Uh, I'm 44 years old. I am architect. I am living in Santepeque, Department of Liber La Libertad. And I was married. I have two child. Um, I like to uh, ride a bike. Like a bike and, and read the books, many, many books. And what else? My interesting and learning, learning very, very much and this spoke English. Okay, very good, excellent. And I hope you can learn a, a little bit of this uh, module. Um, all of you are in advance one. That's mean that uh, I think you have a good level of English uh, and I think I won't have a uh, like problems of, of communication. Uh, but if uh, in that point you don't, or you want me to uh, explain something in Spanish, you can ask me and, and there is no problem. Okay. So if you okay, want to you. know, if you want to know something, so just let me know. And I will try to explain in Spanish if, if it is possible. Um, but I think um, everybody here um, can understand me in English, OK? Thank so, you, uh, OK, welcome, Mr. Gerardo. Uh, let's see now to Ms. Galvez. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. Um, <laughs> My name is uh, Tatiana. Uh, I'm an um, economist. Um, I, I like to uh, learn in a, a language. <laughs> and right now, um, I love to spend time with my daughter. Uh, she has uh, four months old, so I love to spend all the time I, I can uh, with her. Um, and that's that's all right now <laughs> for me. Okay, that's all. Very good. Miss, why you dis you decide to learn English? Can you share us something about that? Yes, uh, because... Um, it's a language that is um, used in in a lot of in in a lot of countries, 
and that's that's mm, for that reason uh, yes. i think that's, that's true uh, that's true so uh we all over the world we're going to find someone who speak english because it's the most fucking language that we have so in this way we can communicate with other people so that that's a good reason for learning english okay um I'm sitting here to Mr. Uh, Alex Jacob or Jacob. That's that's your name. I'm pronouncing it a good way. Alex. Uh, teacher, sorry, I don't listen a good, good uh, your micro your microphone. You can listen me. Uh, just it's a little. Me. Okay, just give me a second. I will try to set up. Give me a second. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, can you hear me right now? Yes. Is it better? It's better. Good. Yeah. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, Mr. Um, Alex, uh, well, we are introducing, uh, you are introducing yourself right now, and um, it's your turn, so you can share some details about you, uh, where you live, where you like, so some interesting uh, facts you want to share to us, okay? Okay, my name is, is Alex Haku, and I live in Santa Ana City. In I I work work in I work at in con, confecciones del Valle, eh, SLCB. Um, I am I am a quality head in the in the in in the plan. Um, Mm, only that <laughs> only that okay sir uh why uh, do you decide to learn english and, and what is your purpose for this model this uh, this model is a uh, pre uh, pre advance number one okay okay uh do you have um well any reasons uh why you decide to learn English with English Corporativo? Yeah, um, I like it. Uh, learn with English Corporativo um, for um, said, yeah, learn more grammatical words and uh, also uh, can 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 I no, I can com communi communi communicate with the, another people in my world is very important to use the English because all the specs and manual specific specification and manual um, are in Eng in English and uh, also in actually um uh i we are we are work we are start work in the new program for windows is a uh, dynamics uh, three three six five <laughs> and 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 the ink and the english is very important for um, for the uh, learning uh, to better this program with the English too. Okay, very good. That's mean you need um, a, these courses to uh, apply all the knowledge that you are going to acquire here in your job. That's good. That's good. Uh, because um, also you are practicing with all the manuals that you have in your company and all the things that you have to do. And, and that's good because you're going to be learning um, some um, uh, words that you are going to be uh, practicing there too. Um, as you said, we're going to be talking some parts um, uh, 
about grammar and we're going to see some other vocabularies that maybe it's going to be helpful for you, sir. Uh, okay, let's see, Mr. Uh, Rodriguez. Thank you, sir, for your presentation. Um, Mr. Rodriguez, are you there? Boris Rodriguez? Yes, I am. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Well, uh, my name is Boris Rodriguez, Boris Alexander Rodriguez. I live in Mexicanos. I am engineering and I'm 44 years old. And I work in the Operadora del Sur. I like uh, to do exercise and uh, cycling. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know what, what, what do you want to know? <laughs> okay, uh, one of the questions that I'm uh, doing here is that uh, why did you decide to learn English uh, with English Corporativo? What's the reason? Uh, the, the main reason is because I, I grew up my, my English first and 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 my work need to speak more english uh, uh, understand english and practice and practice and be uh, I don't know mm, how to say este uh, avanzar to advance advance to my next level in in the company. Okay, that means you need it for for that reason. Okay. Yes. Good. So uh, and we're going to be practicing our English here. I know you have a good level of English and uh, we're going to be uh, discussing, we're going to be working on the platform and Perfect. I guess you are already visit, I, I guess. Uh, if not, we're going to check some, um, uh, well, we're going to check the structure of, of the whole uh, platform later, okay? So uh, welcome, sir, and I hope you can learn something about about English uh, during this mode. Thank um, you, teacher. Okay, Mr. Mendez. Evie. Evie? Oh, Miss Mendez. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Mendez. Welcome. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Evie. I am uh, 34 years old. I live in Sayapango. And I decided to study English because I, I would like to have a better job. And I think that learning English is to, is necessary to, to start. And yes. In my free time, I like to, to do exercise or some sport. That's it. Okay, very good. And you said something that is uh, important. Um, English is becoming so important in, in, in like the process of finding a job. And uh, most companies are asking for people that can manage at least uh, the basic or intermediate level of English. And, and, and that's why um, so many times uh, when we are going to apply for a job, uh, they deny us because we don't know is, or we don't require um, uh, the minimum level of English. And, the idea that you can be here learning English is so good because it's, it's giving you a plus uh, to your CV, 
Okay. So, uh, welcome, Miss Mendez. Uh, and I hope you can learn something about English here during this mode. Um, let's see. The next one is Mr. Uh, Cáceres. Good evening, everyone. I am Jorge Antonio Figueroa Cáceres. I am 40, 43 years old. I work in a foundation named, it name is FUSAI. Uh, I like a uh, repair uh, computer. Uh, I'm an, a technician. Uh, I like ride motorcycle. Um, do some exercise in a bike or uh, walking. Uh, my expectation for the for learn English was I like to improve my skill and I like to learn more to speak more full fluency. Okay, very good. That's, That's all. Okay, very good, sir. Um, I hope you can put in practice of your knowledge in English uh, with all of us. And um, as you know, we're going to be developing some activities that um, uh, are intended for speaking, for writing, and we are going to be developing those skills, okay? So, welcome, sir. Uh, Mr. Lara. Are you there? Hi. Hi, sir. Uh, Hi. Welcome. So, I have, I have, have a the space problem. for introduce yourself, sir. I have a little problem with the sound uh, microphone. Uh, my microphone or your microphone? My. Your microphone. Yes. Uh, you... I, I, I hear you uh, so well, so. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, my name is Miguel Lara. I work in finance um, for for Millicon Share Service Center. Um, I live in, in Santa Tecla. Um, I study English for my it's necessary for my work. Uh, work for many countries and Spanish and English. Okay, sir. Very good, so welcome, sir. And I hope you can um, take something of this module and also that you can be practicing on platform that we're that I will be uh, sharing. I, I think you have uh, the knowledge of how to use the, the platform. Have you ever used it before? The platform of English Corporativo, have you ever used it before? Or this is your first time? Uh, no, uh, is um, of the beginning oh. with English Corporativo. Oh, okay, okay, sir. So I will be giving you a tutorial um, after this, uh, after you finish introducing yourself. Okay, sir, welcome. Uh, now let's see Miss Guerra. Yeah. Hello, good night, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening, me. <laughs> Thank you. I am Rebecca De Guerra. Um, I'm sorry for all the noise. Uh, I, I am worry. in a family celebration right now with all my my uh, with all my family. Well, I work in energy in human resources area. Uh, I would like to, to, to learn English uh, for improve my, my English and to be able to, to, to speak fluency. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent. So uh, well, we're going to put in practice all, all those knowledge you have and also I guess you are going to be improving uh, your speaking skill during this uh, model because we're going to be developing those activities 
uh, that are intended for that reason. Um, let's see now to, uh, well, welcome Miss Miss Guerra. So let's see, let's listen now to Miss Sierra. Hi, good night. Hi, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Sorry, good evening. Uh, my name is Yancy Sierra. I'm work in energy, um, human resources system. And um, I take this class because I want to um, read and speak more fluency. Okay, very good. That's all. That's all. Okay, very good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So I, I hope uh, that you can uh, learn a little bit from from me, and and I hope that you can, uh, or that you like this environment in English Corporativo, and also that you can complete all the activities uh, for this model. Uh, is anyone else missing? I don't know if I haven't. Uh, mention everybody. Um, Miss Turan, okay, so Miss, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. My, my name is uh, Beatriz Duran. I am 31 years old. I live in uh, Lourdes. I work in Prismar and I need to study English because uh, the communication with my boss is very difficult because uh, they doesn't uh, speak Spanish and I need to uh, improve my, pronun my pronunciation and my vocabulary. Okay, very good. So I hope you can improve all those skills here in English Corporativo. So we're going to see that in the platform allow you to practice uh, pronunciation and all, that also um, uh, provide you with vocabulary and uh, there are some activities for writing. Um, I hope you can um, take advantage of it. Uh, let's see, I don't know if there is someone missing or uh, everybody did a presentation of yourself. Okay, so I, I think everybody did it. So um, the first topic that we're going to be discussing um, is related pronouns as subjects. Uh, first of all, I want to present you um, the platform that we're going to be using. In your, um, in your um, emails, you are going to find uh, the whole information um, that has been shared to you. I, I think Mr. Jimmy uh, shared all that information or, or maybe the staff of English Corporative will share that information. And there in that email, you are going to find it, uh, all the details that you need uh, for joining the video conference, uh, for joining the WhatsApp group. I think everybody's there. Uh, and also, well, the codes that you need to join uh, or to sign in, in in the platform. Um, and well, if you have any question or, or if you have any doubt, please do not hesitate in contact me. And I will be trying to answer all, all your questions in the WhatsApp group. Um, and if I don't have the answer in that moment, I will contact the staff of English Corporativo. They have, well, English Corporativo has some technicians uh, that are in charge of some details like the platform, like uh, how to join the, the, the meetings here in Zoom and some other details that they manage, okay? So, but if I have the answer, I will be sharing to you there. Uh, also, in the WhatsApp group, I, I, I need to ask you to um, do not send like, um, like memes or some other information that is not related to uh, this model, okay? So you can share 
information about English. You can share vocabulary, you can share pictures that are uh, for educational purposes, okay? So you can do it in that way. Um, well, let me share to you the platform here. Give me, just give me a second, I will try to switch my screen. Okay, here we have. Uh, this is the platform that you are going to be working on. And we, you are going to be uh, working on pre-advanced model one. Um, we have like the homepage here. Uh, that is Inglés Pre-Avanzado Modulo 1. This is the model that we're going to be completing. As you see, we are going to find there uh, five sections. Uh, in each of the sections, we have different activities. Uh, in the section number three, you are going to find a midterm. Um, this midterm uh, is intended uh, to finish um, According to the schedule, uh, I think it's the second week, but I will be sharing that information later in, in the uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, we're going to, to, to have a, a schedule of all the things that we're going to be de developing during those weeks. Uh, we're going to be taking this model and it's going to finish on February 10, okay? Um, for each of the sections, uh, you are going to find different topics. A topic 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. And in there, you are going to find those exercise, exercises that I, I was mentioning before. Um, each of those exercises counts uh, in your final score. How does it work? Okay, in order to, to, to approve this model, you need at least the 80% of all um, the activities that has been proposed for you in this platform. Uh, do not worry because uh, you are going to find uh, there are different opportunities to uh, complete it. That's mean that if you do not finish in the first try, you are going to have a second try. Um, and also if you fail in that one, you are going to have another try. So till you finish uh, the activity. So you are going to go, or you're going to move on to the next exercise till you finish or, and get at least eight or more than eight. Okay, so th th this is the purpose of, of, of all those uh, exercises that we have here. Um, if you see, we have like different uh, windows here. In, in, in one of them, it says Progreso. Um, in this part, you are going to find uh, the chart of all the activities. Uh, at the end, so in each of the week, you are going to find like different score, uh, but um, if you have the 80%, that means that you are able to go to the next model, but each of the week has a, a different percentage. Uh, and at the end, you are going to have an average of it. That average is going to be uh, added to the average of the midterm and also, uh, the average that you are going to get in the final exam. Uh, those three uh, scores uh, are going to define your final score of this model. That's mean the total of, of the whole model. Um, is divided per section. In section number one, we have like different a exercise in this case we had a five exercises in section number two we have three exercises in a section number three we have three exercises but in that one you you are going to find the meter uh, the meter is is composed by 
different exercises about the section number one, section number two, and section number three. Um, there, you are going to find the listening part. You are going to find um, some exercises of writing. Uh, you are going to find also a grammar part and it also reading part. And, and, and sometimes there you're going to find vocabulary part. Um, sometimes it, it is from those, those um, exams, okay? So after we finish all these three sections, uh, we're going to go to section number four in section number five. At the end, we're going to have the final exam. The final exam is composed uh, of all the topics that has been, uh, uh, has been teach to you uh, during the four, uh, during the four uh, uh, weeks, okay? So you are going to find all the uh, topics uh, and also you are going to be studying all the videos that we're going to find there because there are a lot of videos that are going to help us to uh, develop our listening skills. Okay, so is it clear at this point? Yes, okay. So if, if you say yes, you can uh, give a thumbs up or if you have any question or, or is it not clear, so you can have uh, a, you can use I mean the other uh, emoji there or some other emojis. Do you have four questions? You have four agree, disagree, some others that you are going to find there in, in, in Zoom. Okay. So discussion part. We're going to see the discussion part. Um, in this part, you are going to have like different topics. Um, each week has like different levels in, in, in which one you are going to be like sharing information that it, it is asked um, in each of the videos that has been proposed for you. For instance, if you go to the course in, in you visit the section number one, uh, there you are going to find, the, first of all, you're going to find the, the objective. Um, the objective is going to give you an idea of what you are going to do. In this case, the lesson number one, the uh, 1.0, it says that by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that, a subject. Okay, that's the, the, the objective for this lesson. So later on, you are going to find a video. The video, it's called like relative pronouns as subjects. In this part, you are going to play it. You are going to find some information there. And at the end, you are going to have the discussion part. So after we finish the video, we're going to find an activity or maybe a questions at the end of the video uh, where we're go where um, I mean we need to uh, answer it using the discussion part. You are going to click on añade una publicación so and you are going to start developing the information according uh, what has been asked uh, to you there in the video, okay? So later on, we're going to see the second objective and also we're going to have the second uh, video, okay? Uh, if we notice uh, this uh, icon, it is called knowledge check. If we go there, we're going to find the first exercise. This is the exercises that we need to finish in order to uh, get the 80% of the subject um, you are going to find there for instance if you have a, if you have a, a, the, the answer a, for this exercise you are going to click on in send 
and you are going to find uh, th these icons like run, okay, and correct. So if you have a check, that means the answer is correct. And then you are going to be correcting just the options that it says that are wrong, okay? So we're going to find it in that way. Uh, so you don't have this button. Uh, I'm the only one who has the, the button that it says show answer. So you don't have it. Um, so this is because you need to um, put in practice your English note and all the information that you are going to be learning here. Okay. So, uh, do you have any question at this point? For the moment, no, teacher. No, not at the moment. Okay. Very good. Okay, well, so if you don't have any question, we are going to start with uh, the first lesson. Uh, we already read the, the lesson objective. If you remember, it says by the end of this lecture, uh, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that as subject. Um, every night I will be playing one or two videos. And uh, later on, we're going to be developing uh, some activities uh, that you have to send to WhatsApp group because those activities are just for practicing. The activities that we are going to be developing during the, the video conference do not count in the final score. So those activities are intended just for practicing English. Uh, so. Now I'm explaining this because it could be any confusion about this. I'll repeat it again. All the exercises that we are going to be developing during the video conferences, like a group discussions or a developing what, some um, handouts or, or no exercises, that I can share to you using the chat box. So all those exercises do not count in the final score. The only exercises that will count for your uh, final score are the ones that has been proposed for you in the platform, okay? So is it clear that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. So, um, just because the exercises are not scored for the module, that's not mean that we are not going to participate. Because if your purpose is learning English, uh, you are going to be participating and also working on those exercises. Because the idea is, put in practice um, all these skills, like listening, the speaking, writing, and reading too, okay? Well, let's uh, play the first video here. And as you know, the topic for this one is relative pronouns as subjects. So pay attention to it, and later we're going to be discussing about it, okay? So pay attention. Hello everyone. In this class you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples and at the end of the class I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They are into serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information 
and we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who are into serious. Or you could say, I like guys that are into serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they are into serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they are into serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives, all right? So whenever you use adjectives, what you're gonna have in this uh, second statement is gonna be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative, okay? Um, and then the and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who. I, I just want to ask you because I don't know if 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 you are listening what I'm sharing. Yes, I can listen. The teacher is listening. Okay, very good. So. Sorry, because I, the thing is, I, I didn't check on the icon that it's that it says share um, uh, audio, but okay, please pay attention. Or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they, that disappear. And we changed it to they, uh, to, and we changed it to who, or we changed it to that, okay? So I like guys who are into serious. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. Yeah. And the reason this one is different is because we're no longer gonna use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we wanna do here is we wanna combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys, that's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Um, and that's because we're using a noun to uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen. And that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear. And that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor, or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together, and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information, and what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they, and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. 
Okay, um, there we have a, that part where a, we can find the explanation of how to use relative pronouns at subjects. Okay, that, that's the first thing that we are going to be discussing. Um, first of all, um, what we need for this kind of sentences uh, are two different parts in, in a sentence. That's mean we're going to join two different sentences um, in which one we're going to express an action in, in the other one we're going to express um, an a specific uh, attitude um, that, that is related to the first uh, uh, sentence. As you see, there were some other examples like I like people, like... Um, uh, I like guys, so the, all, all those all those elements uh, there, like I like, you, you can change it if you want. Uh, but the second sentence uh, in this case uh, must be an adjective. And uh, if we have like different separate sentences, uh, and if we say I like people, uh, and also we have the other sentence that it says they are into serious, we can join those parts. We can uh, create um, a relative uh, sentence using the relative pronouns. Uh, instead of using uh, the double subject there, uh, we are going to change it to who or that. Okay, we can use uh, one of them. It doesn't matter if you use who or if you ask, if you use that. Uh, the only um, way that we are going to keep who or that is if in the sentence we are not talking about a, a person. So if we're talking about um, an object, we are going to keep that. But in this case, as relative pronouns, uh, we can use like who or that in, in, in these two sentences, in, in the examples that we have there, okay? So uh, if we say like, I like people who are into serious, or if we say I like uh, uh, guys that are into serious, so um, there we're going to find that we have just one sentence, but the connector of of all all the sentence there, or all uh, these two sentences that we previously, previously uh, see, uh, I mean, so uh, is joined by the relative pronouns, okay? So in this case, uh, what is the, the pronoun that, that we're going to be, I mean, the, the noun that we're going to be a change in here or, or what we are referring to. So if we say I like people, that means people, uh, I mean people uh, is the ones that we are going to be uh, taking as part of the relative pronoun. Um, so do you have any question at this point? Are you ready to create your own sentences? Yes, no? Yes, I want a question. Okay, sir. Okay, and uh, the pronouns or um, in the, in the in, um, the relative pronouns, uh, who and that is 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 possible to use in the for substitute. 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 Substitute the the pronouns plural and singular, or well, for example, uh, um, they. Um, it's a it's a plural pronoun. It's a plural pronoun, yes. So we by, in the, use... by indicate the singular. Okay, so we can use it either with singular or plural. Um, 
in this case, we're using uh, the word guys, that is plural. And the relative pronoun that we're using here is who, okay? Who, why who? Because we're given um, uh, uh, um, a specific uh, adjective to it. What is an adjective? An adjective is a, a description of someone or something, okay? So in this case, we can use either um, brutal uh, pronouns or singular pronouns, okay? Okay. Okay, so um, here in, in, in the, okay, in the, in the topic that we have in, in, in this chart, it says relative pronouns as subjects. We're going to see in the next class uh, how we use relative pronouns as objects because that's something different uh, when we are writing uh, in a specific uh, sentence. So in this case, a relative sentence using relative pronouns. Uh, when we use uh, relative pronouns as subjects, these um, relative pronouns as, um, take the form of, uh, of um, a well. In this case, substitute the nouns that we are referring to in the first in the first two sentences. Uh, the the purpose here is to join two sentences uh, in the ones that we are going to be giving a uh, specific information. The other one in, in the other sentence we are going to be like describing this uh, the the first sentences that we are using. Uh, so th this is gonna be like the, the aim of the of the use of relative pronouns here. Uh, so in the uh, discussion part here in the platform, you are going to add a, a post. There you are going to be um, writing at least three sentences using Relative pronouns as subject. Remember, you can use who or you can use that. Um, in the sentences that you are going to write there, you have to decide if you use who or if you use that. One of them, not two, just one of them. Okay, is it clear the instruction? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, excellent. So, um, while you this, uh, I mean, well, while you develop this activity, uh, I will go to the lesson number two. Um, in the lesson number two, it says, by the end of this le lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that's a subject. See, th this is the other part, part that I was mentioning uh, before. So um, for this lecture, and uh, you are going to have the first homework. Uh, you are going to um, look on the internet or uh, look well in a book, if you have book related to these kind of topics uh, of English. And uh, you are going to uh, read about relative pronouns. Uh, you are going to tell me because uh, the relative pronouns, uh, that we have in English are not just who and that. We're talking about who and that, but there are some other relative pronouns uh, that we can use in English. Um, the homework for you is to find all those relative pronouns that we use in English. And you are going to bring it for uh, tomorrow's class and, you are, and we're going to be discussing uh, the uses of it in English. Okay, is it clear what I'm saying? No, yes. You want me to repeat uh, the information? Please. Yes, please repeat. Okay. For tomorrow's class, you are going to look for relative pronouns. There are some other relative pronouns in English that uh, are not there in the, that, that we won't find there in the videos, okay? So uh, there are some others. Uh, your homework is 
to bring all those relative pronouns for tomorrow's class, okay? If you want, you can write it down in, in a piece of paper, in your notebook, if you have any notebook, or so in your computer, if you want. But the thing here is to search, okay? Look for those relative uh, pronouns. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, excellent. So uh, this is the end of the first um, video conference. I hope to see you tomorrow's class uh, at the same schedule, you know, at eight o'clock. Uh, please try to be on time because if uh, one of you is here at eight o'clock, I will start the, with uh, developing the class uh, just with that person, okay? So for that reason, I'm asking you to uh, be on time uh, in the video conferences. So that's all for me. And I don't know if you have any question. If not, uh, I will close the video conference. Okay. Do you have any question? For me, teacher, for the moment now. Okay, sir. What about the others? A thumbs up if everything is okay. Okay, thumbs up. Just click on <clears throat> thumbs up. You know the icon there? Okay, very good. Excellent. So, well, um, I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. And guys, has been, for me, it has been, it has been a pleasure uh, to know you and to know that you are so interested in learning English. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night for everyone.